check check one two what is going on beautiful people welcome back once again i'm so glad to see you guys thank you guys so much for coming through and supporting your boy at blue games we're trying another new game today it's called snow runner heck yeah man we usually do trucking tuesday today let me turn the music down a little bit it's a little loud i i didn't realize how perfect that track was going to be before i played it in the intro today but usually on tuesdays we drive a little bit of euro truck sims american truck sim today snow runner just came out and I want to give it a try. So I've only done the basically the, the tutorial mission, and now we need to head over to the garage and check out what's going on with that. So what's going on, YT Blade? Good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. Dyson, Andrew, Cunningson, Ian, Daniel. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Blue Crew, what's up, man? Geo, good to see you. Captain Harrison, good to see you, my man. SW, welcome. White Winds, welcome to the stream. Braden, welcome back, man. Good to see you, my dude. Thank you, everybody, for coming through. And uh, we'll check it out. Ian, what's up, man? Ron, good to see you, bro. RJ Flight, welcome as well, man. Uh, so yeah, again, as I said, this is Snow Runner. This is like basically the uh, the it's like Mud Runner Two. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I never tried Mud Runner, but uh, this is my first time, honestly, in the franchise. And so far, visually, as you guys can see, it definitely looks amazing visually. I mean, look at the reflections on the pavement. Uh, the truck is extremely detailed, even on the inside. If you look at the inside. This looks really nice. A really big improvement from the last game. I actually like, look at this details. As you look your head to the right, he moves his hand. That is so legit. Like the small details like that really make you appreciate the game. And the same, I think probably if you look this way, let's see. I don't know, I guess the left hand never moves. You can also look all the way around. So today I'm actually sadly playing on a PlayStation 4 controller. We are on the PC version of SnowRunner today. You can look all the way behind to our empty cab back there, uh, but it it is uh, you can't it does work with uh, wheels. Uh, I'm just having an issue with my particular wheel, which, which is a Thrustmaster T150. I'm not having any uh, force feedback, but I also checked on the forums and on Reddit, and the developers are aware of that, and I'm working on that. Hopefully, we'll get a hot fix, something like that, uh, sometime soon. Who knows? Um, if you want to get the game, it is available on the Epic Store. If you're watching in the live stream, you can type in exclamation mark SnowRunner on YouTube or Twitch. And I'll give you the link right there. But yeah, guys. Yeah, man. Uh, it's also multiplayer, I should say. We're on single player today doing some of the missions, but it's also multiplayer. Let's go ahead and get the engine started. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Uh, please let me know. Um, let's see what you guys are saying. Yeah, the trees look really nice. Really nice. What up, Nathan? Good to see you, man. I can see Nathan playing something like this for sure. Honestly, this reminds me of like a mix of like American Truck Simulator and The Hunter. I, all I wish is that I could get out of the truck and go hunting some animals. That'd be legit. Anyways, let's get going. I don't even know really exactly what's going on next. Let me open up the menu. Let me know if the music is too loud for you guys. What up, Browning? Good to see you, man. So this is the map. This is the uh, first map. Matter of fact, let me show you guys around really quick before we get started. This is a new game, and I know most of us haven't seen it. Um, so let me show you. This is the map. This is Michigan in the U.S. This is the first map. I have not unlocked all of it yet. So as you, you know, go to the watchtowers, it'll obviously show all those areas and show the roads. So this is the only thing I have seen so far. Whenever you first start the game, you start over here in a little bitty Chevy pickup truck, and you gotta go do some missions. And we just finished those intro missions. Moving on to the second phase, I guess you could say. So we just built this bridge. I used the truck that we're in to build this bridge, and hopefully we can do something cool like that in the future. But this is all we can see, but where we need to go next is way over here. So it's in the dark. Um, no idea what is in between. I, I see all this area, but that's about it. I do see a fallen power line. I'm not sure how we go about that. So we probably can't go that way. Uh, right now, I need to kind of draw myself a route to get to where we're going. We really don't know. We might get lost. I don't know. So I'm just going to put a, a waypoint at the garage and we'll just kind of wing it and go as we get there. Who who, who knows? And yeah, the music is absolutely perfect. Uh, Andrew, you're playing too? Man, that's amazing. Let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on it? All right. Oops. I didn't mean to delete that. Hold on. All right. Here we go. Also, if we go to global map, you'll see there's also a couple other maps you can get to. There is uh, Alaska. Yeah, so there's Alaska, there's Tamir, which I think is in Russia. Si it says surrounded by dense Siberian woods, I think it's Russia. So there's three big maps, they're all really pretty, pretty big size. 
So anyway, let's get let's get driving so you guys can see what it looks like, what it sounds like. I'm actually gonna turn the music off so you guys can enjoy the in-game sounds. Uh, I will not have the in-game music on because of copyright reasons, but uh, you will be able to hear the trucks and everything like that. And the trucks do sound really good. I'm actually very impressed by that again. So far, uh, again, I'm, I'm playing with my PlayStation 4 controller. Is it 4? Yeah, 4 PlayStation 4 controller. Uh, you can see it right here. And um, I would be using my wheel, but my wheel is not working as I would like it to be working right now. Anyways, let's get going. Uh, I'm going to turn the engine on, I think, to do that. Hit this button right here. Really cool. actually shows you like a little x-ray whenever something changes. You see this is a damage, so it shows you how much damage each part of the truck has. All of our, everything looks good. Our engine is 23.9 uh, out of 240, so it's healthy. And then we could also winch stuff too if we need to winch, but we're not going to winch anything right now. And then here's a, here's a horn. <laughs> there it is. Got the handbrake on the right. We'll release that. If I hit L1, which is for the PlayStation controller, I can go to low gear. I can go to neutral, I can go to reverse. I actually really like the way they did this. It's really cool. It's in automatic. Whenever we get whenever I get my first like new truck, we're probably gonna do it manual. All right now we have half a tank of fuel. Uh, what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna go back and get gas first. I know where the gas station is. But I don't know what is ahead. And I don't want to run out of fuel. So I'm gonna go ahead and start driving. And kind of like where we left off in the mission here is uh, we're in Michigan, as I said, and a really bad storm or something just went through and some really bad flooding. And so all the roads are completely trashed. So some of the roads are going to be blocked. We got water to go through. So I actually kind of already driven this way, so I kind of know which way I need to go. It does look really good. Visually, I am very impressed. Uh, one thing I would like, and I'm sure they're going to add it later. As you can see, the road is blocked right there. We got water right up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this left road. The first one back up. And we go off from the side because that mud right there is really deep. And this truck is actually not... Uh, it's, it's not good for, um, for off-roading. This truck is not made for off-roading. So we got to avoid road hazards at all costs. We go through the water. That's good. We made it through that. I think momentum helped us with that a lot. YT Blade. Yes, I do have a Discord. If you just type in uh, exclamation mark Discord, Nightbot will get that for you. All right. I'm gonna get some gas. I think gas is free on the game, which I kind of think they should at least make it worth some money. All right, parking brake on and fuel. So I guess I hit X. I've never actually fueled before. Alright, there we go. We're full. That was simple. I'm looking forward to trying multiplayer in this. If uh, any of you guys decide to get the game or have the game, let me know. I would love to give multiplayer a shot. Didn't make that turn. <laughs> you guys are the most free in real life right now too. It is pretty cheap. I'm actually pretty surprised about that. Right, I'm gonna head back this way. I'm kind of thinking I do have a second truck. It's just a pickup truck. Nothing really interesting or special. It's a rock. I like how that rock is actually moving. That's pretty cool. The physics man on this game is really impressive. Looking forward to whenever I get to actually drive on the snow and, and see what that's like. That's one of the big new features to, uh, to the franchise is the actual snow. All right, sounds good, YT. Oh, <laughs> man. I'm not used to driving with the controller, so I'm a little bit all over the place right now. All right, now we got a fuel tank. So fuel information's on the bottom left. You guys probably already see that. We got our gear stuff on the bottom right. I haven't upgraded anything yet. Still, like, this is basically, like, still, like, the straight at the beginning of the game. Nothing super special right now. We just we just built this bridge, so pretty proud of that. Very nice. One thing we need in this game is photo mode. This game is way too beautiful not to have a photo mode. 
But yeah, the small details are so legit. Wow, look at that. All that area ahead of us is flooded. Wow. Now we know there's a down power line to the left. It says garage to the right, gas to the left. Very nice. 55 miles is the speed limit. Watch out for, I think it says trailer or big bumps. So all this, wow, that's crazy. All this area is flooded. Yeah, the physics of this game is just really impressive. Look at the um, the the pipe, exhaust pipes, and whenever I hit the gas, look how they like pop up and bounce. That's, that's so legit. Yeah, power line down over here. There's probably going to be a contract or a job to fix that with a crane or something. Who knows? So definitely not going to go too close to that. I'll go ahead and back up. Pushing the GMC truck. I haven't seen a GMC in a while. Uh, twin running, I'm using a uh, regular old OBS studio. Uh, has this game been overhyped? I don't know, honestly. Uh, somebody literally just called me before I started the stream asking me, Hey, what do you think? Do you recommend it? I don't recommend it yet. I have not played enough to give you an honest, like, fair, like, recommendation for this game. So far, I mean, you know me, guys. I love playing new games, so it's always interesting in the beginning. But it really comes down to, like, how is it going to be later on? How is the replayability of the game? You know, is it going to keep me around long enough? You know what I mean? So, we'll see. I mean, I've been really interested in trucking lately. And you know, we've been doing a lot of, uh, like, hill traversal, traversal. And, like, challenging inclines on the Euro Truck Simulator. And it's kind of got me interested in trying doing similar stuff. And I feel like this is the right game to do that. Look at those tires sliding on that. That is cool. Alright, again, we're kind of, we don't know where we're going. There's a tree down right here. Probably should be able to drive right over that. Yep. Now what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to put my wheels offset. You can see us sliding around, cutting through the dirt right now. There's a lot of floodwaters out here. Michigan is known for getting a ton of rain. Look at the hands cross. Oh yeah, Monty. Yeah, that is an issue. I forgot to mention that. Look at that. It's pretty dope though. One thing that's kind of annoying is is this right here. And I'm hoping that they'll fix that. Like, I feel like it's something that should have been fixed, <laughs> you know? So like I'm barely moving right to left. And he like crosses his arms. So definitely an issue that should be fixed. Like if I actually turn all the way to the right or left, it makes sense. But not when I'm just barely, barely, barely turning the wheel. So hopefully they'll fix that. It's a nice little camp here. That's kind of cool. There's a trailer. I believe if you find trailers, as long as you like a high enough rating, you can like just hitch onto them and take them. We should be getting pretty close to the garage. Another little town over there. Like I feel like we could have went that way, but we'll just keep going to the road. It also tells you your miles per gallon on the bottom left too. Very helpful. Uh-oh. Yeah, we can't go any farther this way. Look at that. The whole road is flooded. Jesus. Alright, let's see. I'll make a left then. Oh, that mud is a lot deeper than I thought. Oh, we might be stuck. Oh, that mud is a lot deeper than it looked. Yep. Come on, baby. You got this. Hey, wow, we're just digging ourselves in a deeper hole. Let's see him go forward one more time. I can get some traction on the right side. Yep, yeah, none. Zero. All right, we'll try using the winch. Which I think is the. Where is it? Where is it going to? All right, so it's over there on the right. I have the automatic winch turned on right now. So let's see if we can pull this out. I don't even know what it's connected to. I think it's connected to that thing that. Yeah, that's not going to work. It's connected to like a, a fallen log. Yeah, that's not going to Come on, that's not gonna work. Oh, it did! It helped! Wow. Wow, it's muddy. Jeez. I released that. Oh, man. <laughs> it's kinda dope. Okay, can I winch on something else? Winch connected. What did it connect to? Same thing. Don't get stuck, simulator, I know. 
Break out the winch! Alright, let's go. I'm still getting used to the mechanics of how this works. Oh, I just released it. Alright, there we go. So pull winch is triangle. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> it's trying to winch the stuff that's like not strong enough to pull me. Uh, let's see, try that again. Winch connect, what did you connect to this time? Alright, that right there. Alright, let's see, pull. Come on, come on! Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> yeah, man, a Christmas tree gave us life. It's weird, that tree is just laying there. I can't believe it's actually, like, working. Alright, I'm gonna release that. Let me see if I can do a manual winch. Because it's, it's winching the stuff that don't really work. So I'm gonna winch to, uh, the, really the part that's stuck is the back end. If I can get the back end winch, let's see. Alright, here we go. Let's get that part, and it was let's attach it to this uh, that pole. Now let's try that. Alright, so the pull is triangle. There it is. There it is, baby. That's what we needed. That's what we needed right there. Now I don't know how much farther we can get. Alright, release that, and we're on our way. I hope this whole part is muddy, muddy, muddy though. Alright, so I know our waypoint is in that direction, but I don't know what else is over there. Like it looks like. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go find out. We're just exploring right now, guys. We don't know what's around the corner. I'm gonna try to stay away from those roads, though. They're super muddy. Ooh, what is that? And this is, again, not an off-road vehicle. Alright. What is that? Wow. Is this gonna break? It would suck if this broke. Oh, my God! I just fell off of it. Upgrade location discovered. That sounds legit. How do I use it? I can't really get over there. I'm just gonna we'll come back in something smaller. Uh, this truck does not have all-wheel drive. I don't think. No, other trucks have it. This one does not. Again, this truck is not made. I'm turning the lights on. This truck's not made for uh, off-road driving. It's made for the highway. Alright, I'm gonna cut through these bushes. Yeah, alright, dope. That was smart. Okay, I gotcha. Alright, there's a garage over there. Beautiful. It looks like a freaking ghost town out here, man. There's nobody driving around. It's like a zombie apocalypse out here. All right, garage discovered. You have discovered your first garage. What do you what you have done so far is the meat of the game. Explore and discover watchtowers, complete contracts to earn rewards, and find garages to improve or buy new vehicles. Now let's go inside. Roger, Roger, let's do that. Nice. All right, move to garage. All right, cool. This is my first look at the garage. Garage is used to store and upgrade. Okay, we kind of know that. Yep, <laughs> pretty obvious. You don't have to complete everything in your current location before moving on to the next. Some interesting trucks or resources can only be found in other locations and regions. So let's do, uh, what did I say? My chat's in the way. Soon tra some traveling. Okay, prepare your truck for transportation by using retain function, which is square. Okay. Sub menu. Okay, yeah, whatever. Truck store, leave garage. All right, so we can customize this, baby. I would like to make this, like, better for driving. I don't know how much. How much? $8,800 right now? 8850 Dude, like, I love how this thing looks, though. Looks, it looks, it just looks grimy and just like it's a, it could be a beast. Like, it looks old, like it just wants to break down, but at the same time, like, you can see it's put a lot of miles on this, baby. Alright, uh, what can we do? We got visual upgrades, we got color upgrades, ooh. Does that cost money, or do, can I just do that? Yeah. Blue Games color. <laughs> there it is. We should do the Blue Games color, actually. Can I, how much, apply? How much does that cost? I think that's free. It's not charging me any money for that. And then, let's see, rims, that's not important. We're not gonna worry about cosmetics, I want... I want something that's gonna make us more efficient. I think our engine is fine. We can get a new gearbox though. It's balanced, high rank. Okay, it's, unlo it's still locked. I have to explore Alaska to find it. So I have to find parts to upgrade them? Is that how that works? 
suspension. Oh my god. Oh my god, when you turn the suspension on, it just jacks up. What latency do I have in my videos? I don't know. High enough. It's really not that old. If I'm not answering your questions because I'm busy or you've repeated yourself too many times or already answered it. All right, so okay, now I'm seeing money. So these are all, these all look like street tires. Yeah, they all say highway, which is what we have right now. And the all-terrain tire, which is what I would like to have, is uh, is locked right now. Reach rank six to unlock. All right, rank, yeah, six to unlock that. I'm not looking to get any more highway tires. I don't feel like that's gonna be too beneficial for us. There's a chained. Wow, chained are really expensive. They look really cool though. Get rid of that thing. Rear chain. So I can get just. Okay, I like that. I like that. I could dig it. I could dig it. So it's like to get the 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 first level of off-road tires is gonna be rank eight. What rank are we now? Rank two. Okay, we got a long way to go. <laughs> we got a long way to go. So I'm not looking to get any more high, no, any more tires. We can get a, a new winch, extended medium. That would be really helpful. Again, rank eight. Looks like a lot of the, the stuff that we want, like the best updates or, or upgrades are all rank eight. So I think rank eight is gonna be the next, uh, the next goal for us. We can get a snorkel now, $800. I say I don't know if that's gonna be useful right now, but I bet it's gonna be frame add-ons. Oh, what is that? That's dope. Can I zoom out? No, can't zoom out. Huh, interesting. Oh, free. Seismic vibrator module. What does that do? Specialized piece of equipment used to analyze the ground directivity directly under the vehicle for any abnormality opening mineral. Okay, so that's like a something else. A uh, saddle high, okay. Saddle low. Those are also free upgrades. All right, we're not gonna do. Much. I don't think we have money, or we can't really do anything right now, anyways, except change the color. So we're gonna leave it as is, and we'll see what. Uh... Ooh, that's cool. Twenty thousand dollars though, but it's really dope DLC. What up, Nick? Good to see, you, man. Captain K, what's up, my dude? Thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, saving up for the crane probably would be helpful. What is all this stuff? Highway, heavy duty. Okay, so this is just my trucks. So these are the only trucks that I have. There's truck store. Uh, I got a Chevy. That's the one we already have, too. That's the one we got. Actually, that's not what we have. I won't really know if these prices are reasonable until we start making some money. So, uh, let's go ahead and leave the, leave the garage. Wait, what is this? Oh, empty slot. There's a bunch of empty slots in here. From what I heard, you can basically have as many trucks and as many trailers as, as you want. All right, I was going to leave. Please travel to Alaska region to complete traveling tutorial. Okay. How do I, how do I do that to retain? Your vehicle is now placed in the truck storage. You are ready to travel. Go to the global map with triangle. Okay. Alaska. Garage open. This, huh, I didn't know that I had to do that. Guess we'll go to the garage. All right then. This is all new to me. What is the name of the song which used these lyrics? I think you know you love me because I'm pop. It's called Knockin'. The, co the song is called Knockin'. It's one I usually use for my intros for my live streams. Uh, go to the truck stores to see how it works. Okay, there it is. Is it store? Is that what he said? Store? Trucks. All right, that's my truck right there. Why do they want me to buy it? You can deploy your retained vehicle from the storage. Is it really gonna charge me $31,000 to move it? Doesn't sound fair. Your vehicle has been deployed. Now let's leave the garage and go explore Alaska. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just lost. I'm lost. Welcome to Alaska. Now you, now you know the basics of the game. It's up to you, you to scout, accept contracts, upgrade or buy new vehicles and conquer the wilderness, completing Contracts in Alaska might be tougher because of the weather conditions. If you want to be more prepared, you are free to come back to Michigan and explore Alaska later. Don't forget to scout uncharted areas, discover watchtowers, and run contracts from the whatever map. I like this better. I want it snow, and this is snow, so let's do it. 
Thank you. Who was that? I think I was probably Browning, I'm assuming. <laughs> For the uh, cheers. I do appreciate that. All right, yeah. Those menus are starting to get annoying. The snow looks very nice. So is this this looks like the exact same area or very similar just in Alaska. So let's see if we can get a contract. Any contracts we got out here? Let's see. We got one contract. GR Enterprise. We got Blackbird. We got Morrison Mining. What do you guys think? I'll let you guys choose the direction we go from here. Uh, go ahead and chat. Let me know. Type in GR, Blackbird, or Morrison Mining if you want me to try one of those. I'm going to take a look at what they are. Uh, Port Polar Base Supply. Village Delivery on the Top of the World. Mountain Maze. Town Supplies. As for GR, Blackbird has Pipeline Construction. Uh, this one's a long one, actually. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to finish the whole thing in this live stream. Service hub re reactivation, cargo delivery, drilling supplies, lumber mill supplies, supply crates, drilling stuff delivery. Right, that kind of sounds fun. The, more, the mining one sounds fun. All right, Browning is saying Blackbird. Why'd you choose the longest one, bro? <laughs> Any other votes before we get started? I got oil delivery. That's, that wasn't an option, actually. I think it was Morrison Mining. Lumber meal supply crates. Okay, that's... All right, Blackbird is, guys. Thank you guys for participating. So we'll click on that and this and see what happens. All right, we've got an urgent contract for you. Local fuel company is building a pipeline, and they just hired us as a subcontractor. Deliver everything they need fast. Service spare parts times two. All right, so we got to get that from over there. And then we need, what else? That's it, I think. We gotta deliver that to the pipeline. So this is our first location we need to go to. And to get there, I have no idea how to get there. We'll just take the road. Actually, let's delete that. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to do that. What did, what did I do? Okay, here we go. All right, so delete that. And I'm gonna go kind of down this road. And then we're just gonna assume there's more roads. And we'll stop at the service hub, get those spare parts. All right, let's go. I think my lights are on. Yep, they are. You know me, guys. I love the inside view, but I'm probably not going to stay in for long because of this stupid <laughs> hands right now. All right, it's going to be our first taste of what it's like to drive on snow and ice and all that. I've, actually, I've never done that in real life either. <laughs> oh, is it ice? Jeez. I think that's ice. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> you can see the front tire just slipping and sliding. Like, it's not like straight up ice, but there's some ice spots that you cannot see. And I think it's starting to snow. Yeah, it's starting to snow. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at the back wheels spinning. Alright, here's our pickup. All right, cargo management. He said that we needed service spare something. Let me see. We need two times service spare parts. So we got, what's that? How, man, I can't see what that says. All right, we need two of them. So F and an F. There we go. A6 says, I need to go back to the first map, get all the upgrades, and come back to this map. It'll make life a lot easier. Thank you for that. I'll definitely do that. Not now, though. I kind of just... I want to at least just see a little bit of Alaska before I go back to Michigan. Wait, where are we taking this to? I don't like that it doesn't stay open. All right, so we need to take it to the pipeline, which is over here. So for the most part, we know what that is. We got a pretty basic road that takes us here to the right. Put a waypoint there, put a waypoint here, so I don't get lost. Put one here, and I'll put one at the end. There we go. Activate. Oh, I didn't know I had to activate it.
Man, it's getting dark already too. These lights don't, don't really seem to work too well. Do you have bright lights? Oh, there we go. Did I go the right way? <laughs> Wait. Where am, I going? Where am I? Where am I going? No, we're going the wrong way. What the heck? How did I go this way? This thing is really slow in reverse. What up, Tay Ray? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. I am doing pretty good. Just trying to learn and figure this game out. Our first time. My oh, man, A6 gave us some really good advice. Says that we should uh, go back to Michigan first and finish those contracts. And then upgrade our truck. And then head out to Alaska, which makes a lot of sense. I feel like Alaska is going to have a lot more challenges than Michigan. Especially with the snow. You kind of get all the same elements that you have in Michigan, but plus snow. It's like, it's almost like Michigan is like, that's the mud runner. <laughs> and then you come out of here. And I, I think that in Michigan, I think it does snow too. So I know in real life it snows. But I think maybe there may be some cases where it might snow out there too. So far, the game is feeling, uh, I don't know, decent. I'm still really new, still very early stages of the game, first missions. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't yet have a recommendation. But I'm kind of playing it out. You guys are watching my first impressions. Honestly, one thing, that my the first thing that I noticed as we, oh snap, here's some snow. Oh, this is not good. Wow, that's a lot of snow. That's a, that's a lot more snow than I thought. Wow. And at night, you really can't see how deep that snow is. I could have driven right into that. Wow, look how deep those tracks go. How the heck am I going to get around that? Maybe we can try the outside. How deep is this snow out here? That's no, not deep at all. Oh, yeah. Now it just drops right there. All right, try the left side. We might have to use a winch to that pole right there to help us get through it. Oh yeah. It's better on this side. Man, I'm surprised we're not going to blow this engine. Look at it. Look at those tires spinning right there. I wonder if you can overheat. Ooh, I think we are so close to stuck right now. There it is. Wow, we barely made it through that. Get some momentum, and as you hit the, hit hit it, let go of the gas, then get back on 30% gas. Gotcha. Thank you for the, uh, thank you guys for the advice. It's my first time playing a game like this. I'll try that out. All right, we're almost there. Uh, but I was gonna say before we got stuck is the map is pretty big, but it's smaller than I thought. All right, we'll drop this off here. I think I just need one each. Very nice. I like how the map changes. Like how you're going around and you're doing things and you're actually changing the physical element of the, of the map itself. It should be a second pipe. Wait, that was... That took both of them. Hold on, let's see. Did we complete it? Yeah, I think we just completed it. Alright, so the next Blackbird is Floating Drill. So that's the first mission. That was pretty simple, actually. Alright, so what we gotta do for this one is deliver to the port, get oil rig, salvage semi trailer. Oh, that sounds fun. How big is that semi trailer? Can I pull that with what I already have, or am I gonna need to take um, that thing that we saw in the garage to pull that trailer? Off road trucks is recommended, saddle high is recommended. Alright, so we definitely don't have an off road truck. <laughs> And we don't have a saddle high, so we need to go back to the garage anyways. This is going to cost us, it's going to give us $3,300, 360 XP. Use a low range? I'll try that. So let's try it. We might get stuck, but we'll, you know, we'll figure it out. We'll live. Alright, we're going to turn around then. We 
we'll get some momentum this time going through that uh through that snow and I think it's more like snow and mud patch is what that was a mix of snow and mud it's like really snowy and misty it's probably like a, like an ice rain I'm, I'm predicting all right we're gonna try that i'm gonna try going straight through that this time with that technique that you said Get some momentum. Here it is. Eee! Oh my god. Oh man, we didn't make it far at all. <laughs> we didn't make it far at all. Oh boy. I'm glad you believe in me. Remember, you can use your gearbox. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's go low mode. Speaking of that, let's see if that helps us out. Yeah, that's helping actually. That is helping. <laughs> Gaming man said, "Pretend I didn't say that." Low mode seems to be helping a little bit. We're, we're we're consistently moving forward. That's a good sign. We are putting this thing to work right now. That's all I'm going to say. I wonder how long it's going to be nighttime, though. All right. And back in the... Oops, not neutral. There we go. All right, we're going to head back to the garage. We're going to switch up to the uh, high... Whatever they called it. I think this is the garage, right? This thing has a really bad turning. The beginner truck. That's what we got going on right now. All right, move to garage. All right, we can go to uh, customize, and I believe that was under frame add-ons. And we'll switch to it's free, thankfully. Saddle high. Purchase, and then done. And then oh, how much money do we have? Ten thousand. Do we have enough money to make any like upgrades to our wheels to make them better in the snow? right now or is that something I probably will have to do later raids would be nice too Let's see tires Let's see power weight fuel consumption durability mud poor all these are poor yeah all of these tires are poor we're off-road so we're just not using the right tires <laughs> at all tires raise and low range yeah, we can't raise it. Yeah, we don't have anything that we can do right now to the truck. That's actually going to help us here. Like, some of this stuff would help us in Michigan, maybe, but not here. We don't even have a differential lock, which is not good. Not good at all. So we're going to try it. <laughs> we're going to try it, because why not? If we fail, we fail. It's a game. My lights on to make sure. Still getting used to this camera too. There we go. Uh, I would only say this game is expensive if you. Oh! Wow! Invincible American flag. <laughs> wow. Okay. How do we get there? Uh, no, I wouldn't say the game is expensive. I would say if you get the pre if you get the premium version that comes with uh, like the good um, trip if uh, the part that goes with what's it called the season pass and yeah it's like sixty nine dollars and that's pretty expensive for this game um, but I think it's the actual game's like thirty bucks something like that which I think is is completely fair what you get um, yeah I really don't know how to get there we don't know this area yet we probably should go check out this watchtower. Before we get there, let's do that first. That'd be our first waypoint. We'll go to the watchtower. Actually, let's remove that. How do we get to the watchtower? There's a small little road right here. So we'll do that. We'll go this way. Make a right turn here. Hope that I'll miss that turn. That's a really close turn. That's the one thing I do actually like about this game is that they give you objectives, but they don't tell you how to get there. And it's kind of part of the game. Actually, this bridge looks broken. I don't know if we can get there. Let's try it. We'll try that first so we can discover more of the area and then if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't work out. We'll see. Oh, 
Oof, I keep hitting stuff. Yeah, still getting used to this driving with a controller deal. I would much like, I would much prefer to be driving with my steering wheel. I like the night lighting though. I really like how it almost, I like how the street lights look. I like the fog, the foggy look. Yeah, turning is a little weird with, with the controller. It might be weird with the wheel too. I, I did actually, I did actually try the wheel before we started, and oh, this is mud. This is mud. Oh boy. Switching to low gear. Uh oh. Wow, you can't even see. I can't even see my tires. Ay, ay, ay. All right, I'm gonna turn the wheels so that it'll help us get some traction. And yeah, we're getting out of it, I think. Woo, hey. This is gonna be tough right here. We really need an off-road vehicle for this. Look how small this road is. I need I need to pull out my my pickup truck. That's what I need to do and just go discover some areas. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. All right, I know. I know when not to continue, and this is that point. Yeah. This is not gonna work in this truck. All right, we're gonna reverse. I like this shifting, this shifting's kind of cool. Yeah, we could have winched, but it's just not a good look out there for this truck. I can definitely see how this can be fun with uh, multiple people. I am back in automatic. So if you guys, if any of you guys have the game, let me know, and maybe later we can, uh, do some driving together. Becoming a Russian driver again. Yeah, man. This is a uh, death row all over again. <laughs> Last week. Alright, again, I don't know how to get to where we're going. So I got to keep checking the map. See if we're going in the right direction. We want to end up way over here. Uh, if there's a left turn, we need to take a left turn eventually. There's a road right here. I think this is a road. Yeah, this is a road. A snow, uh, snow covered road right here, I think, that we just passed. Let me see if I can find it. Wait, is this it right here? Is that a service? I don't understand what that says. For XP. Be prepared for the unexpected. Oh, that's a. Great sign. Here we go. Through the mud we go again. Oh, this is not good. What up, Mike? Good to see you, man. I appreciate that, bro. Is that ice up there? Water over the road. Let's see if I can use a winch. Yeah, boy. Yeah. All right, let go. This is actually all just mud. Where are we? Yeah, this is the road I was looking for. It's covered in snow. I wonder if there's a snow plow in this game. That'd be legit. All right, it goes left, it goes right. That just looks like mud. All mud right there ahead of me. And water. Uh, Browning, I am playing on PC. Yeah, that is, that is mud and water up ahead of us right now. And that is not going to work out. Oh, boy. Is there a way to get around this? There's a little road to the right. I think it goes around it. Let's go reverse. But again, this is the challenge of this game right here. Like, you're watching it. Like, and I think it's probably even more fun in the beginning stages because you have to find 
ways to get to where you're going. Like once we get farther in the game, and we have like all these amazing like freaking monster trucks that can go through anything. It's gonna be fun, but at the same time, it won't be as challenging. It'll just be like off-roading. Uh-oh, I think I'm stuck. All right, give me the winch. Give me the winch. Give me the winch. Give me the winch. There we go. Ay, ay, ay. If this was daytime, I'd probably look at the road and be like, yeah, this wasn't a good idea. All right, the winch is helping. Can I get another one? That winch is strong, man. <laughs> Look at us right now. <laughs> oh, can I go in reverse? I think I'm stuck in both directions. I think I'm literally stuck in both directions. All right, I know there's a thing that I can do. I don't know, let me see if I can figure out how to, how to do it. Uh, let's see, I should be able to call my other truck. Or I think my other, where's my other truck? Or do I have to be on that map? Cause my other truck is on the, on the Michigan map. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. Oh darn. Okay, can I call in my Michigan truck? Maybe, let's go get it. Let's go get our Michigan truck. <laughs> Where is it at? The Chevrolet. There it is. All right, I'm going to switch to the Chevrolet, and maybe we can help it get out of it, because we're stuck. We are all the way stuck. All right, here's my other truck. And I'm going to drive it over to the garage. This one does have four-wheel drive, and, no, sorry, it has all-wheel drive, I guess, however you like to call it. And it has low gear, so it's, this, is, this one's actually better on off-road, but it's also still not great. Lights on bright. Here we go. Hold on, let me find the garage. Oh, it's way over there. So we gotta drive all the way to the garage again. I wanna retain it, as we saw last time. How do I get to can I make a right turn? No, left turn, right turn. Yeah, right turn. All right, now we're going for recovery. <laughs> basically, we're basically gonna go recover our truck. I wanna get to here, we'll go back uh, this way, take a left on that bridge again, and you're gonna see now like how far this really is, like as far as the map goes. I think we probably need one more waypoint somewhere. Keep us going straight, and then we haven't seen this part, and it'll take us over here. Hey, that works. All-wheel drive does use more gas, so beware of that, but it's very effective. So, all-wheel drive is known now. We're going to need it. Oh, yeah, we're blinding everybody. Can I go right here, I think? What up, Cookie? Good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. How do I see what time it is like during the day? Now, I don't know, this truck sounds a little weird to me. Uh oh, it's gonna be tough. Going up this hill. Oh boy. Oh boy. I just wanna go and rescue my truck. <laughs> That's all I wanna do. I like that the mirrors actually work and they're very clear. The rear view mirror looks really good. So this is the same road that we took earlier. Oh, oh, I just hit something. Engine did not like that. This is the same road we took earlier in the uh, in the big truck. Wow, look at this thing jumping around. <laughs> oh my God, we keep hitting those, <laughs> those uh, angles. Uh, you see the you see the uh, the guy on the inside his hands swerving both sides. <laughs> oh, all 
Alright, make a left here. This truck is older than me. That is 100% true. It's so hard to turn, it's so weird. Alright, hopefully, hopefully we can make it through this. Splash. I think I need to repair this truck. Earlier I got really bad water damage on this truck in the tutorial, <laughs> so I probably need to repair it. Alright, we're on the road. Oh, freaking drifting. I can see people doing some drifting on this game. Alright, we'll come out of all wheel drive and do regular. They removed the splashes. Were there like big splashes before? But we didn't get a big splash at time. Look at my bumper all beat up. He kind of bounces weird. Oh shoot! <laughs> I need to pay attention. But yeah, I was saying he kind of like when he drives. You see how he like bounces there? Even though we're not on any bumps, it's kind of weird. Something I need to fix that too. Frontier 18. What's up, man? Good to see you. When you hit these hills, you start sliding, bro. I don't even know how fast we're going. Let's see. 30? That's only 30 miles an hour. Wait, I can't see. <laughs> Those wheels. Oh, boy. Uh oh. I shouldn't have stopped. Oh, I shouldn't have stopped. Where'd this mud puddle... Where'd this mud puddle come from? There we go. All-wheel drive is a lifesaver. Oh, boy. I didn't notice these in the big truck. I'm gonna stay in all-wheel drive for a little while. Wow, we're scraping the bottom. Oh, this is not good. I do like how the earth is deforming underneath us when we go through those big mud puddles. Like it already kind of has its like pre-made grooves and things like that, but as you go through it, you actually make tracks. Mike and Mike, what's up, man? Good to see you up to the stream. Uh, I guess it depends. People are saying it's $49.99. So some people are saying it's $30. Um, if you get it on PC, it's 30, I believe. But I think if you get it on PS4 or Xbox, like if you get it on console, I think it's a little bit more. I think it's like 40 or 50 dollars. As are most console games. G-Man, what's up, man? Good to see you. the stream. I'm just kind of trying to avoid the middle of this road. If you just join us, though, guys, we are. Uh, basically heading back to Alaska. We're in, we're in Michigan right now. We're heading back to Alaska to reclaim or uh, rescue. Oh, this is where we were. Oh, boy. Uh, to re rescue our other truck, our, our, our work truck, as I would like to call it. Our work service truck. Oh, I remember this. Oh, I remember this. Oh, even with four-wheel drive, we barely making it through this. Look how deep this mud is. Oh, it's so bad. Right, I'm gonna go get whatever that thing is. I don't know how to get it. I'm still gonna get it. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. All right, there we go. Get upgrade. What is this? Uh, raised. Oh, perfect. That's what I needed on the other truck. Good shit. I probably should have got that earlier. I didn't realize I knew I was gonna need it. Right, let's cut on the side of the road. No, all the roads are not dirt. There's uh, there's also concrete and pavement dirt or pavement roads, but we're just in the dirt section. All right, we made it, guys. We didn't use that much gas either. Is that my truck right there? That is my truck. What is that upgrade? What's that upgrade? And now it's daytime. Hopefully it's daytime in Alaska too. Let's see, this one is a engage, engageable all-wheel drive, not available for the current truck. So this is probably for the other truck. 
I hope. Let's hope it's for the other truck. So I'm gonna re I'm gonna put this in the garage and, and do the thing to make it so that I can take it to the other spot, which I think is retain. There it is. And then we'll go to global map, we'll go back to Alaska, back to Northport. Accept that and we'll uh, we'll respawn in that truck. Should it let us, I assume. Not sure how to do it. We did it a second ago. Oh, move to garage. There we go. Is Snow Runner harder than Mud Runner? I I don't know. I cannot say because I I didn't own Mud Runner. I thought about buying Mud Runner when I found out Snow Runner was coming out, just so I can kind of get like some experience. But I was like, nah, I'll wait. Uh, deploy. Leave garage. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, nice. Now it's freaking sunny in Alaska. But the nights are short out here. You know, I always wondered why in the trailers they always showed the outside view. Because my biggest question personally before buying this game was like, like, what's the inside view look like? Like, can I use my wheel? That was my biggest question before I got this game. Because whenever you get a steering wheel, you want to play games that, you know, driving games that allow you to use that steering wheel. This is where we were trying to go earlier. We couldn't make it. Oh, that's no, that's not where we were trying to go. Where were we trying to go? That's a gas station that way. But um, that was the biggest thing for me. And I was, I saw that the old game supported wheels. So I think it should. So I went ahead, took a, a risk, took a chance. And it does support wheels. Um, but for my wheel, my Thrustmaster T150, at least at the moment, um, is not working all the way like I would like it to. Um, I can use it to steer and use the gas and all that stuff and map keys to it, but it's not, uh, the, th the feedback is not working. So, But the de developers already know about it and they've already you know, mentioned in, on the forums that they're working on a fix for that. So hopefully they fix that and it's not just like lame feedback either. It needs to be like legit good like like how euro truck has it like american truck has theirs you think i can make it through there now let's try let's try all will drive and we'll go we'll go through the snow here on the right that's as deep as i thought it was gonna be <laughs> oh i can't get this stuck too Oh boy, huh? That was not that bad. So you can see our, you can actually see our tracks from earlier when we attempted to get through here in the bigger truck. Legit. All right, the tower is gonna be pretty close to here. But I thought it was funny in all the trailers how you don't really see a lot of inside view, and now we are complaining about the, the hands. <laughs> Come on, babe, you got this. I've always kind of wanted to try this in real life. I have a friend of mine who used to have a Jeep. I think he would love this game. What if this broke? That would suck. Uh oh, come on! All right, now we made it to the watchtower. Beautiful. <laughs> and we got XP for that too. Launch observation. Is there black ice? I don't know. That is a great question. I feel like there should be. I feel like they that would have that would have come up in one of the meetings. New objective: stuck in the mountains. Uh oh, who's stuck in the mountains? Containers in the river. All right, so we unlocked a bunch of objectives because um, we gained XP. It looks like whenever you send your truck to another map, it actually refills your gas too. So that's very helpful. Let's go look at the map. Speaking of maps, and we'll go find our other truck, our abandoned truck. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it right here. This is where we want to go. I'll put a thing on the map so we can see where it is and we now discovered a bunch of new roads if we take a right we can go this way and go around that's like a lot easier way to go let's delete that and we'll go here 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 and here's our truck and we can hopefully use a winch to dig this thing out of this freaking mud all right we're still in all-wheel drive i bust it in reverse and you guys ever watch Ice Road Truckers? I 
really I recently started watching it. I had always heard of it, but I had just never had the channel <laughs> to watch it. Oh, uphill and mud. Uh, it was kind of interesting. I'm like, I could definitely never do that in real life. I'm not skilled enough of a driver. I can race cars. But driving through snow and ice and all that, I don't think that's going to work out. Uh, is this the right way? Oh, I took a shortcut. Okay, that works. That's deep. Look at that. Oh, that's deep. No wide vehicles do not follow sat nav. Oh, wow. Our front left tire is literally stuck in the mud. And I think I'm digging myself deeper by backing up. You gotta be careful in this game, man. You really do. Nightside game, what's up, man? You just got done playing this for like four hours? That's amazing, man. I'm glad. How, what do you think, though? I'm, I'm curious. Some of you guys probably started playing like midnight last night when it came out. I've only been playing for an hour. <laughs> so, what kind of tips you guys have for me as I am just in the beginning stages? I know I've already gotten one tip saying to... Oh, oh, just blew the engine? No, okay, we just hit something with the engine. I've gotten one tip saying that I should go back to Michigan and do the missions there, upgrade my truck, and then come back to Alaska because Alaska's a lot harder. Oh, boy. Wait, is, oh, okay, I hope that's snow dust and not my engine smoking. Not sure if I can blow the engine. I think we should make a left here. But oh, Q, good to see you, man. What? Good to see you. Oh man, this is this is this is rough, guys. This is rough. The snow is not giving me any more traction either. Oh man, you gotta be. I don't want to dig my. Oh, is that ice up ahead? Look at that. Look at the difference in that snow. Look how shiny. Or not shiny, but how like sparkly that looks. Snow and ice cannot be a good combination. I don't want to get all the way in it. Let's get it. Give me the winch. Give me the winch. Uh, <laughs> about to break the tree. Oh yeah, we're stuck. Oh boy, we're st we're all the way stuck. We are all the way stuck. All right, I'm gonna put a winch in the back. Let's release that. Uh, attach winch. I want to put it over here and attach it to this one. Where's it at? That one. Attach it there. Alright, now pull it. Oh, that just dug us so much deeper. Okay, here we go. We're moving forward. This is a bad idea. I look at where we are right now. Look at this hole we just dug in the ground. Look at his face. Oh boy. Like that's helped me get traction in the back, but ah. Uh. Oh man. We might have just got a second truck stuck. <laughs> oh man, I have a lot to learn. I am just gonna reverse out of this. We have all wheel drive on. Let me go to low gear. Low gear, my bad. Yeah, should have low gear first time. Wait, it won't even move in low gear. Look at this. Like, I'm trying to reverse and it won't even go. I don't know if. But that's gonna help us go forward. Let's see. Cancel the winch and try. Already canceled the winch. Oh, oh, it's a winch over there. Oh, I did not go that far. Pull. Oh, oh, broke it. <laughs> All right, pull. Broke it. All right, let me. That's the auto winch feature. Let me use my my own. Let me pick a pick a place for it. Wait, no. Attach winch to here. Oh, I want that one over there. Yeah, that one. All right, that's gonna get us out of here. That's gonna get us out of here. Heck yeah, that's what we're looking for. Oh, it's so freaking, oh, it's bad too. It is bad. Oh, it's bad. All right, release that one. Let's see if we can get another one. Anywhere else? I, I'm attached to the same to that one, and there's a oh nice. There's a small tree over there. That's a far one too. I know I could winch that far. Oh, broke it. Oh, I needed that one. Oh, what about that over there? All right, this one. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That one.
Wow. That winch is a huge help. I can't imagine being out here without the winch, because we would not get anywhere at all. We have just been dragging this thing, winch by winch. <laughs> okay, we need another one. Winch simulator, guys. Anything else we can pull? Oh, let's get that pull over there. That one. It'd be so funny if like the bumper just fell off. Here we go. We're making moves. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. All right, now I'm going under my own power. I right, release the winch. Let's go. Oh my god. I did not exp Okay, I'm about to be stuck again. Wow, that was that was something else. Sheesh. We should we should have blew the engine with all that work I just did. All right, where are we going? Left. Look at all that mud. <laughs> That's cool. All right, we're still in low gear, too. All right, here we go. All right, all-wheel drive off. And back in automatic. All right, so where we left off, our truck is over there. And uh, I don't want to get this one stuck, too, again. There's our truck. I think we can get through this. But that's the famous last words, isn't it? So I see a little gap over here of snow. Let's see if I can get through the snow. Alright, oh, it's kind of deep. It's not that deep, is it? It's not that bad. It's not that bad, okay. Yeah, this is good. This is good. This is good. Ooh, okay, now there's some mud. All right, beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna go up ahead of, a, of this truck if I can get there. Yes, that's exactly what. Oh, hold on. Exactly the plan is attach a winch to that truck and pull it out if we can get there. Something is stopping us from moving forward. I don't know why I can't go forward. I'm stuck on something. the heck am I stuck on? That was weird. I guess I can't go that way. Alright, so I can squeeze in between here. Take the mirrors off. It's alright. I'll pay for it. Alright, so now that it's daytime, we can see what we were up against last night. Wow. There's no way we are ever going to make it through that in anything that I own right now. No way. Alright, so let's just pull her out. We'll go back the other way. No freaking way we're making it out of there. What up, doofus? Good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. Alright, I've never done this, so I gotta figure out how to pull the truck out. Uh oh. <laughs> I made it through here one time. Let's do it again. There's a big mud spot right there. Come on, come on, come on. Mm. <laughs> We're stuck. <laughs> Both trucks are stuck in the same spot. All right, Mr. Winch, <laughs> I need you. Are there any places I can winch this to head or not? Over there. You're a mean one, Mr. Winch. All right, there we go. Just need a little, need a little tug. Help me out. It's actually pushing the other truck. All right, here we go. Come on. Wow. This is like an off-roader's freaking playground right here. Like if you're the kind of person who loves off-roading and outdoors, like this is your freaking game. All right, we'll release that. I'm gonna actually put a winch in. Oh, I think we can make it. Yep, we got it. There it is. All right. This is probably as close as I can get to this truck. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just back right here and we're gonna pull it out from the back end. Or let's see if I can get the front. Let's see if we can winch the front. Attach winch, we're gonna attach to our back there. And I want it. I guess I have to use a side. This is probably not gonna work. Let's see. Start engine. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. 
So like, yeah, it's not working. Oh wait, I'm not pulling it. Hold on. <laughs> oh, it's pulling the wrong way. <laughs> it's pulling me back. <laughs> okay. So you see how the, the other truck's wheels are moving too? Like, I guess whenever I pull, whenever I hit the gas, the other, tr both trucks gas go off. So it kind of helps you kind of try to get out of it. And uh, yes, it's not gonna work. Uh, yes, Q, you do eventually get better vehicles. <laughs> what up, what up, Ghost? Good to see you, man. This is not working. Right, so can I switch trucks? How do I switch trucks? I'm gonna move this one out of the way here for a second. All right, right there works for me. And then I'm gonna. I don't know how to do this. I'm just kind of winging it, guys. How do I switch to the other truck? No, not the Chevy. BMC. Clicked. Never done it. What a big mungus good to see, man. Oh, there it is. All right, I just have to click on it. All right, how stuck are we? I don't remember. The parking brake was on. I wasn't going anywhere. The parking brake on. All right, I'm going to low gear. All right, so I can't reverse. Low gear is not working. We're too stuck for low gear. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a winch again. I've had some winch practice now. I feel like we'll winch it from here and attach me to that one and pull me. There we go. There we go. We're moving. Eee, we might break that tree. Oh, it's pulling as hard as possible. <laughs> this is this is this is kind of fun. I could I could spend some hours doing this. Oh man, I just feel like we're getting ourselves worse and worse. I released that. I can't back up. Like that stuff over there is a no go. That is all bad. And now I'm stuck on the on this tree. Uh, let's see if I can use the other truck as a. As a, it's a little bit of help. But it seems like the the small pickup truck has a longer range that it could winch to, or maybe not. I think it's the same. It's just smaller. All right, so I went to Chevrolet. I guess I just hit X again. Yeah, there we go. So I know that this is real, real muddy right here, but right here is some traction. Right here. And if I can winch from here and just get it off, get it out. I don't want to be stuck. Let's get it out of this stuck area. There we go. Now I can get to the bumper. Kind of weird how the... There we go. That's the one I want. All right. Can I put my parking brake on? Oh, let me see. Parking brake on and then winch. Nope. <laughs> oh, now I'm stuck for real. It's working a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm not getting anywhere, but it's working a tiny bit. I might be stuck in this truck. Can I put two winches at the same time? Because that would be really helpful right now. I need. I, if I could winch this truck to that tree, and then the winch to the back, yeah, that would that would be dope. But I don't think I can. You see, now it's kind of like clicking it. I'm in all-wheel drive already, and it's just not having anything to do with it. I'll release that winch, get myself unstuck, and we'll try it again. I'm not sure how far I can winch, yeah, that's about as far as I can go. There. There. Come on, baby! Ah! What up, what up Magdalene? Good to see you, man. We were just being pulled back. We're just digging a hole right now. This is not good. If I can get it out, you're gonna get one like. Oh, it's gonna happen. We're getting this baby out. It's getting out. Trust me. Just watch. Stick around. <laughs> For the next episode. Just kidding. We're gonna do this now. Alright. I'm switching trucks again. So I think it's a little bit unstuck now from that from that tree that it was stuck on. Yeah, it's not in that tree anymore. If I can get it moved.
Uh, let's move hit that one. Oh, look at this. Oh, wait. No, that's too far. We'll try this one again. All right, handbrake released. Wow, this thing is so stuck. Not even this tree can get us out of here. Mm. Come on! It's, it's going it's very slowly, but it's going. Oh, wait, it stopped going. It stopped going. It's kind of like a, a, a snow patch there, but it's not. Wow, I can't believe I got this thing this stuck. Actually, I can't believe it. I can definitely believe it. Oh boy. Alright, back to the other truck. Is there a quicker way to switch trucks? There it is, change truck. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot faster. Whew. Oh boy. I need an extra winch. If I can get one more winch. <laughs> Alright, that spot is no good for us. What about over here? This area we didn't really go in. How deep is this? Oh yeah, this is where I'm, this is this is a lot of traction right here. Well, not that much. A little bit. I just made it soft, grabbing on it. All right, here we go. Attach winch. If I had to, I'd drag the freaking from the. From, I'll drag her from the back if I gotta. <laughs> what if I switch out of all-wheel drive? Oh, it just, if it was the other way around, this would be a lot easier. If this was the other way around, it would be so much better. This is not working out. Oh, shoot. Am I stuck all the way, though? Okay. As long as this truck doesn't get stuck, we're good. I don't know. I'm starting to lose confidence that I'm going to get this thing out of here. I'm going to be 100 honest with you. Let me see if I can find another way over there in this truck. Let me go through the forest. Get the, uh oh, that's too deep. Get the other truck, the one back at the garage. There's another truck at the back at the garage? I didn't know we had another truck. Probably only had two trucks. Knock that over. Yeah, this is a bad idea. This is all super thick snow. Dang it, Alaska. You're not gonna defeat me. We don't have a heavier truck. Do, do, is there access? Can I rent another truck? The first map has another truck in the garage. Oh, that, that truck. Yeah, I know what truck you're talking about. I know exactly what truck you're talking about. Yeah, let's go get that truck. Well, this is our mission today. Went ahead and created my own mission. <laughs> I thought we were going to actually do... Oh, man, that is deep. I thought we were going to do our own... Do a, one of the game missions. Or we were just recovering a truck. How much is that truck? It's not too long of a drive, I don't think. There we go. All right. Somebody asked earlier if there's any other roads that are not dirt roads, but here's one right here. Look at all the dirt flying off the tires. That's so cool. Ooh, it's icy. Oh, no. I can't wreck this one. This is my only good truck. Oh, it's free, bro. Why you didn't tell me that before? Let's go get that truck. That should hopefully be a whole lot easier. All right, so we're heading back to the garage, all the way back to Michigan, to get a free truck from the Michigan map. Oh, the drift! That drift, though! <laughs> These icy roads ain't no joke. Oh, too much, too much, too much! 14 points on the engine.
Man, this thing is. Oh. Well, oh, I haven't unlocked chains yet, Geo. I probably don't need. I shouldn't even be in Alaska right now. We should be back in Michigan doing some basic jobs. Not out here. Being a little ambitious right now. So we're heading back to Michigan. Get that truck. And uh, we'll see if we can get ourselves out of this situation. And honestly, that's probably going to be it for today. Definitely, though, I want to know you guys' opinion on the game. How does it look to you? You know, have you tried it? Are you thinking about trying it? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I think I can do retain. And then global map. Head back to Michigan. Yeah, move the garage. Oh, that's Alaska. Move the garage. Back to Black River, Michigan, USA. Actually, I don't think that's a place. All right, we'll hop back in this truck. I think we have to go out there and get it, right? Or do I have to buy it? Which truck was it that you that we saw? Truck not available in the USA. That's interesting. Leave garage. All right, where's that truck at? That's kind of cool how it shows the engine when you crank it. All right, so that one right there it looks really similar to the one we already have. This thing drifts, bro. Look at this. Look at that drift. <laughs> it doesn't make any tire tracks on pavement. All right, how do I get this? How do I own this? Oh, it's just there. Okay. Do I own this truck? This is mine? There's no fuel in it. Oh, that's bad. You use fuel whenever your engine's running to image your engine. Fuel type of blah, blah, blah. You may need... Oh, wait, what? How do I refuel it? No gas in it. Hmm. And the tires are flat. <laughs> the tires are flat and there's no fuel. Okay, let me see. I think if I winch it over to the garage, maybe I could do it that way. <laughs> Attach trailer, change truck, recover. Do you wish to recover this vehicle to the garage? Yes. Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, I'm learning things. Learning things. Alright, let's, let's go to the map. And then we'll go to Alaska. Garage. Very nice. Truck Fleet Star. Deploy, deploy, deploy. Alright. Let's go get our truck. So, is this not the same? Okay, so it looks just like a GMC, but it's not. I told you guys, I'm getting that thing out of there. Be very persistent with it. I know I could easily like send it back to the garage, but I want to do it the hard way. I got something to prove. <laughs> oh my god! That was an ice patch right there. This thing is really hard to drive though, I'll say that. So far, these things have been really hard to drive. Or I just need to get used to the sensitivity of the wheel. They, I keep like hitting the joystick all the way to the left, all the way to the right. Oh, this does have all-wheel drive and differential lock. Oops, that's a handbrake. Nice. This is gonna be really good then. Yeah, the tutorial never mentioned this truck, <laughs> so I didn't know. I saw it there, I thought it was just like, you know, not AI, but you know what I mean, just static. Alright, so we know all that is really deep. 
but we have all-wheel drive on this truck, so let's try putting that on. Only available in low gear. That's not all-wheel drive, but it's different for lock. That'll, that helps. Oh, there's no reverse. Okay, good to know. I love the gear freaking like <laughs> grinding because <laughs> I'm poor. <laughs> Low gear. There we go. We're moving. Alright, this should have some more weight to it. We should be able to get that thing out of there now. As long as we keep it. As long as we don't get this stuck. <laughs> How many of you guys think that I'm going to get this truck stuck to? Put your votes in now. <laughs> Alright, I don't think I can watch it from this far, but I'm going to try. Let's see. Attach winch. There. Oh, yeah, I can. Alright, I'm putting the parking brake on, and then we'll see what happens. Oh! Oh! Alright, hold on. I'm going to reverse. There it is! There it is! Go away. Okay. That is progress right there, people. That is what, you, that is what progress looks like. Alright, I think I'm gonna see if I can uh, try to turn this truck around. That'll give us... it be stronger going in... in, in uh, not in reverse. I released that winch. I turn my differential lock back on and low gear. I don't get stuck though, because it's very, very tricky out here. First, man. I just want to turn around. That's all I want to do is turn around. I'm actually like manually switching to reverse, which is kind of cool. Hit something? Oh, a freaking branch! A branch! Did you see that? <laughs> All right, low gear, and then differential. That's through this mud. This is like training right here for everything that's gonna come in the future. I'm sure. I think it's gonna get worse than this. <laughs> All right. All right. I am excited now. I'm gonna get my truck the heck out of here. All right, winch mode. Oh, no, no, not there. There, all right. Park and brake for now. Hey, hey, every day. Thank you for that Stay very much. Stay this time. Hope you are fine so far. I appreciate that. Uh, Leia, thank you for the super chat donation. I do appreciate that. All right, we're pulling. We're pulling. This is dope. I think it's as far as I can get it. And now I'm gonna release the parking brake, turn on the differential lock on the low gear. And then we'll sure see if we can pull it. If we can tow it out of there. Honestly, that's th that this part of this game by itself is is really cool. Like the towing, like being able to tow things out of places, that's pretty dope. Alright. Come on. All the way. I don't know who was the ir irresponsible driver who put him in, in that situation. Ooh, we're, so we're struggling to get after that mud, though. Yeah, boy, guys, we have officially got the truck unstuck. Release the winch. <laughs> oh, man, that's that was very satisfying. That was very satisfying. All right, switch truck. Beautiful. Oh yeah, she's all healthy too. All right, now I'm ex like I was excited for this game a bit. Uh oh. <laughs> I did it again. Okay, okay, there we go. 
But as I was saying, I was excited for this game, but now I'm looking forward to what other challenges are up ahead. Uh, now that we've we've gone through that, that was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. But uh, guys, that's gonna be in, in, end of it for me today. <laughs> uh, I appreciate you guys coming through. It was it was actually a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to trying it out some more. So far, I still don't want to say, guys, if I recommend it. I think it depends on the person. This is kind of like a a very niche game. Uh, if you like like trucking and stuff like that, you're definitely gonna be uh, attracted by that part of the game because there is trucking. You can get trailers and take them across the map and do delivery missions and contracts and all that kind of stuff. There's a plenty of, of the map to explore. Uh, it's really cool with all all three different maps: Michigan, Alaska, and some other place in Russia. Lots of trucks to drive, uh, small and big off-road trucks. So I'm looking forward to it personally. Of of the challenge of traversing all these roads, snow, mud ice whatever heck it may be and uh if we get stuck now i know i got backup <laughs> i got backup so it's gonna be pretty pretty cool pretty dope I'm, I'm looking forward to it it's gonna be really fun but um i'll let you know i'm gonna keep playing it and uh you know follow me on uh social media and i'll probably do another stream of this uh, i might actually do uh probably like a short video version of this as well and i'll let you guys know if i recommend it yet i don't want to say yet it's too soon for me to give a review of this this is just my first impression just kind of showing you guys how I am playing through the game at the moment, you know what I mean? So if you guys do decide to get the game or already have it, it does have a multiplayer function. Uh, and so I do want to try that out, so we'll see. Um, hit me up if you want to do some multiplayer driving and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, other than that, guys, you're amazing. I do appreciate it. It was fun. Let's hit that music we were playing earlier. That was like the perfect song that we were playing in the beginning. <laughs> Anyways, guys, until next time, remember you got three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time. Next video.